Greetings to the viewers today. I would like to welcome everyone to the channel again. It's Rumel's Tube. I am Rumel. It's been a long time since I made my last video and I had been deciding to make a lot of progress with the YouTube channel but I failed to do that progressively due to being lazy. Exactly. I was a lot lazy and uh, didn't make any kind of videos since past, uh, I don't know, quite a few months. And so let's put that let's put that aside and uh, get to the video topic today so today's video is based on the compiling a Clio script file and seeing if that file has something suspicious in it now what is a Clio file you can find that on google but i'm gonna give you a short description and that is a Clio file is something you might be using to enhance your gameplay in gdsn and res uh, especially if you're watching this video, I hope you are playing some online stamp servers or uh, um, multi theft auto servers, MTA or SAMP, sending this multiplayer, and you want to use different kind of modifications and uh, you 100% want to verify that mod has nothing suspicious which, which could possibly trace your IP or grab your IP or grab your account's password from a server and uh, probably hack into it so without further ado let's continue to the video so getting into the steps what you first will need is a program named sandy builder who you can find the program on Google, just search it up, Sani Builder, you can see the spelling right here. Or just go to your URL bar and type in sanibuilder.com and you can pretty much get forwarded to this website. Afterwards, you will go ahead and download the Sani Builder. It's totally safe for your PC, so just download and install it. It's only 6 megabytes as well. So after you have downloaded the program, just go to wherever you have downloaded the file and I have it right here, then just double click on it and you can pretty much see the option to install your file. Go ahead, select your language, select OK, so accept the agreement and click on next and select wherever you want to install it. I will be installing it in a different drives if you are installing in the default drive which is the c drive program file sani builder just make sure you can find that drive later afterwards just click on next 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 and your file will be all installed i'm not gonna install the file right now because i already have it installed moving on i'll minimize this folder minimize the browser as well and i will open up the folder where i have installed the sani builder so here is my sani builder I'll open the Sani Builder program. When you try to open the Sani Builder program, it will ask you to link your GDS and Andreas game to your Sani Builder. So it's pretty simple. You need to just find out where the. Um, let me see if I can find the option actually. Uh, options. Let's say, yeah. So if I go to options, I can also link my GDS and directory so you can this window should pop up when you try to uh, like connect your game folder to it so just click on here and wherever your game folder is find it out click on ok and it should be linked to your game folder afterwards click ok and close your sani builder then go to your modifications folder wherever you have kept your modification modifications now I have created an external folder named mods here where I kept some example mods. These are not necessary. I'll just delete them up. So I have these different four different uh, CS files which are Clio files and I'm gonna decompile them and show you how they work out. So simply you can pretty much uh, right click on your CS files, click on properties and change how you want to open this file so change it to sani builder if you cannot find your sani builder out here simply click on more apps click on uh, look for another app 
Now find out wherever your Sandy Builder is and open it up with Sandy Builder. For me, for me, I have kept my Sandy Builder in this folder, so I will be selecting the Sandy Builder app. And click on OK, it will be selected with Sandy Builder. Click on Apply, click on OK, and all your CS files will be converted to be able to open with Sandy Builder every time you try to pick a file down. So now you can easily double click on your uh, any Clio files and they will be opened up with Sandy Builder. Now, when you try to open it up like that, it will ask you to decompile your file differently. So it will create an external text file itself and try to decompile and uh, like put all the file codes into that folder. So if you want to do that, you can click on no. If you don't want to do that, you can click on yes. I will be clicking on no as that's simpler, more simple to op operate with. So you have all these codes. You don't necessarily, ha necessarily have to worry about if I if you like should know coding or not. Totally ignore that part. Cro uh, like close Sunny Builder now as it has decompiled your file into a text file. So open it up and you can see the same codes from the Sandy Builder. So go to the top and put your mouse down there. Make sure your mouse is holding right there. Then go to edit and click on find. If you cannot click on find, you can hold your control button and hold, press F. It will open up your find option and type. you need to type in HTT here then select down and select on find next it should start finding where the next HTTP uh, search is so if you click on find next it should detect the file right here now you don't need to worry about this link uh, this is basic link and it's in most of the Clio, uh, Clio files but However, if you are still suspicious of it, you can copy the link and open it up with your browser. Uh, if I try to open it, I'll open it up into an incognito browser. Or you can use a VPN too. Uh, and it's a failure because the link does not exist anymore. These modifications are pretty much old a lot. So, uh, the link pretty much expired. Now it doesn't really matter if this link specifically exists in this in a modification. It's not harmful at all. But if you find any different kind of uh, HTTP link, make sure you check them out. And if they look suspicious, don't use that modification. Now, why do I have four different kind of files here? Now the reason for that is uh, if I try to open auto find mod up you'll see I get the same decompile option so if I click on it it does not show any code in the Sandy Builder if I close it up and I still do not have the anti-crasher like it created an external text file for the anti-crasher but it did not for the auto find now how am I able to see uh, the code for auto find mod now if I open it up again I will click on no and again I cannot see any kind of code so what you need to do is go to the settings option click on that uh, drop down arrow button and select ignore unknown then go to your file file option from Sandy Builder click on open and uh, it, uh, find out where that folder is and then select file type and select all files now you can see all your modifications now again select that modification I'll try to open it up select the same option click on ok and you can see the code again now we know we have an external text file created for it as that message popped up so we will open that text file now you can pretty much search for that HTTP link again. Now this HTTP link I said uh, before that it will exist so it doesn't really matter. It's totally safe. But if you try to search for HTTP link again, 
we do not have any so if we have any you, uh, you can try and figure out if that is suspicious or not or just we really don't use that Clio file then moving on you can uh, let's try auto get maps so this is pretty popular uh, like modification on roleplay servers on SAM so let's test it out we didn't get that error for this file so let's close this and we have the text file here we'll try to search for HTTP link if we search for it we have this one which is totally safe we said before we'll try to search for another one which we do not have so this modification is safe as well so we can use that now moving on to the fourth Clio if we try to open it up it did not show us the decompile file but it did decompile itself and we have a cruise control uh, text file and we can search up for HTTP links that's totally safe moving on we do not have any extra HTTP links and we can pretty much open it up so as you can see I've uh, showed you how you can decompile uh, your Clio files and see if they are suspicious or not so you can pretty much check it out yourself and uh, have a safe gameplay while you are using Clio files and totally be safe from keyloggers and uh, all that bad people right so I'm closing this video I hope you've enjoyed and let's meet you in the next video.